we are going to talk about music. It is going to be so interesting. So here I have a quote that I would like to share with you. Uh, Without music, life would be a mistake by Friedrich Nietzsche. What's your opinion about it, Raquel? Well, I think that's true uh, because I love music. So for me, that's real life. <laughs> yeah, I that's music. music. <laughs> Excellent. That's necessary. All yes. right. Thank you very much. Octavio, what's your opinion? Uh, I don't know much about the music. <laughs> Okay, but do you like it? Uh, more or less. What's your no favorite? Much. Not much, not a lot. Mm, no. Okay, what's your uh, favorite hobby? Oh, uh, I don't know. Mm. Uh, swim. Swimming. I like swim. Swimming. I like swimming. Wow, swimming is wonderful. Uh, and and the box. Okay, so you like sports. Uh mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Hey, that's so nice. All right. Thank you very much. Well, uh, as I told you before, today's class is going to be about music. So here we go. Uh, here we have some phrases, some quotes that I would like to share with you. Octavio, could you help us reading these parts, this, uh, this abstract? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, could you help me to read this part? Uh, okay, okay. Memories? That part? Memories? Yes, please. Memories triggered, triggered by music cause some of the strong, strongest emotional response and, and can be very intense. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, <coughs> what's your about this uh, quote? Híjole, perdón, es que se escucha un poco cortado no sé si es mi internet o es o es, Or it, es que luego no, no, no alcanzo a escuchar bien lo que, lo que se dice uh, it's okay so, es... all right what's your opinion uh, uh, <laughs> eso no I'm sorry uh, Um, uh, uh, was, um, I don't know how to explain. Um. Here, here, what it says is that some music, sometimes music um, can make you feel intense, intense emotions. Uh, sometimes music can make you be extremely happy or to turn into a sad mood in a moment. So uh, that's what it says. So what do you think about it is it real yes yes i think it's real uh, because uh, mm, dependiendo the style of music uh, i uh, mm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm, it's okay, don't worry. Yes, sometimes uh, music can have the power to make us feel 
happy or a, even to cry in a moment. Okay, Raquel, what's your uh, opinion about this idea? Uh, well, I agree with um, what the, the quote said because, uh, you know, music always bring me uh, memories. Uh, if I had fun, if I was sad, or uh, I don't know, whatever emotion I was feeling in that moment. Music, uh, when I listening a song that was in that moment, all memories came come to my to my brain, and I start to feel the same as I was feeling in that moment. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Excellent. I agree with you. You know what? Um, I remember the time ago when I was in Indiana. I listened to Cancion Mixteca. Jesus Christ! I couldn't help start crying oh <laughs> and so, yeah i bet so yeah it was a, a, a an awesome emotion it was so massive for me i couldn't stand and i started crying and maybe it it is the same that happens to mexican people when you go um abroad and you listen to mexican music so that's true uh, yes. Sorry. Has something sorry, sorry. This happened to you? Uh, to me? Yeah. I'm Raquel. Yes. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying that. Um, that that's true because I used to be well. I was um, in Seattle like two months ago, and I spent there seven months, and I remember no, maybe nine. And I feel like, what are you saying about the, how do you say nostalgic, nostalgic? Yeah, that's it. Melancholy, blue, miserable, yes. even. Yes, and I will start to miss, you know, the music, the food, uh, my family, and uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> everything. Oh, yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you very much. Octavio, what about you? Haven't you felt uh, sad because of any song that you heard? Octavio, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, so uh, let's go to the next part here. Uh, what do you think about this, Octavio? Here it says that music transcends language barriers by being a universal language. What's your opinion about this? <clears throat> mm. I think um, that is true. Because the music, uh, I'm sorry, es que de música no, como que no, 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 se me hace difícil hablar acerca de eso. Ah, uh, it's okay, uh, don't worry. Um, you know what? Uh, here, the most important part is not the information, and even the responses. All of the responses are correct. Here, the most important is that you use English to express, to communicate. That's the most important because this is a conversation class, not a music class. Okay. Yes, yeah, so whatever you okay. say is correct. Okay, it's, it's my personal opinion uh, about um, the theme. The topic, yes. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I can hear 
the class uh, I, so for this time only i can hear uh, the, it's first okay. time, uh, uh, the first time you join the class me pongo un poco nervioso. ah don't worry uh -huh. it's okay me pongo un poco nervioso. Yeah, I understand. So don't worry. If you want to listen, just listen. It's okay. All right. Well, uh, Raquel, could you help us reading the first part, this one? Yes, sure. Uh, music? Oh, the other one, yes. Yeah, singing rather than speaking will often result in increased interactivity in people with ASD who process speech. I don't know how do you say timbre, timbre, timbre. I don't know, timbre, timbre, and read in different areas of the brain. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What's your mm -hmm. opinion about this, Raquel? Uh, well, okay. Well, I think that could be right. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's right, but um, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. And say uh, singing ra rather than speaking. I think that's true. Yes. Sounds like, like it is true. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know what? ASD is... Um, yeah, when you can focus, right? Yeah, you're focused here in autism. Yes. People with yes. autism. So here what they say, what they mean is that for them it is so easier to sing mm -hmm. and integrate in a group by singing than by speaking. Um, because you know that people with autism problems uh, don't have the... The dimension, the real, the, the, the second dimension of uh -huh. it. So for them, everything is exact. For them, everything is kind of like um, objective. They don't have the subjective part of speech. Oh. So, uh, excuse me. Yes. What's mean uh, pitch? Uh, yes, process pitch. It's the part of the process. Oh, okay. Okay, thank uh, you. So, um, sometimes people with autism, as I told you mm -hmm. before, have difficulties for having communication with the others. Okay. And so, in this case, they say that singing, for them, it's an easier way to expose, to communicate, uh -huh, mm -hmm. to have communication. Okay. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, so uh, sometimes for us it's a uh, kind of like new or unknown what is the process that it is necessary to follow with people with autism. But mm -hmm. uh, because, of course, Fortunately, it is not so common, but yes, it is a kind of like very useful for working oh. with them to use music. Oh, okay. And so, okay, look at this. Music activates both hemispheres of the brain and stimulates cognitive processing. Uh, yeah. So I think that it is interesting. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, I love music, so uh, I agree with all this because uh, when I need to memorize something, I, um, you know, um, I create a song. I, wow. How do you say? Like... Um, yeah, create maybe, I don't know, compose, yeah, or a, compose, song. compose. Yes, a song. 
and everything it's more easy to memorize. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Everything is easier. Easier. Okay. Thank you. To everything is easier to remind. Yes. Wow. Yes. Hey, you know what? It is a very good technique. That's the mnemotechnia. Oh, that is the name? Uh -huh, that's the name of that. Uh, it's a technique. Okay, mnemotechnia. And it's, it's the, uh, in English or, in, uh, or both, in Spanish and English? In both Spanish and English. Mnemotechnia, okay. Wow, eh, that's great. Okay, so what about this one? Could you help me reading, please? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, the Japanese word karaoke comes from a phrase meaning empty or orchestra. Orchestra. Orchestra, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> for me, it was a surprising, an empty orchestra. Those Japanese people tend to be very deep sometimes. Well, not sometimes, always. Always, <laughs> yes. That's true. The orchestra, did you uh, imagine something like that? Mm, no, an empty orchestra, or orchestra? Orchestra. <laughs> orchestra, okay, orchestra. And I said, why? Why an empty orchestra? Okay, because you are listening to the music, but you don't have musicians. Mm, got you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So please, Raquel, talk to us. Do you like to sing the karaoke? I love karaoke. <laughs> oh, well, but I it. love to do it in my house. I don't like to go to a place to do it. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> but do you like to, to do it with friends in a party or just you alone, Joe yourself? Yeah, just by myself, yes. <laughs> oh, hey, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I uh, get um, nervous. Yeah. I get nervous with that, like Octavio. I feel like, and it's time to do everything wrong. I, I, so I understand to Octavio. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow, too much. God, yes. Yeah, so you know what? Uh, somebody told me that, somebody told me one day that when you learn how to have fun with yourself, then you are a complete person. You can't, oh, great. Mm -hmm. so, so you can't pretend be happy with another person if first you are not happy with yourself. Wow. So, that is deep. Yeah, but you do it. If you are able to do the karaoke yourself, it's because you don't need anybody else to start the party for you. You can do the party yourself. So that's great. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's I'm great. I'm a little bit crazy, yes. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I, I think that you are not crazy. You are incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. You're nice with me. All right. So <laughs> why don't we read this part? Could you? Sure. Music provides a nonverbal, non treating way of comfort confronting issues okay music provides a number of way of confronting issues well uh -huh. sometimes That's true. sometimes we don't manage vocabulary as it should be and sometimes instead of um, fixing making up things we do a mess when we open our mouth. So it, it, here what it says is that sometimes it's much better with music. That's why the success of Serenata. So, have, yes. Sorry, uh, what's mean? Treat me. 
Threatening means like menage, like something that could be harmful, dangerous. In oh. Spanish, we say amenazante. Okay, okay. And like threat, right? Aha, uh -huh, that's it, threat. You know what? What it means is that sometimes we don't use the correct words. Uh, so sometimes we are trying to make up things and we just uh, 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 spoil everything. Okay. And so that's why they say that sometimes with music it's much better. What's your opinion about this? Haven't you received a serenata anyway, any day? Any night? Uh, if I, uh, if somebody yeah. bring me serenata, uh, I don't think so. Um, let me think. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I know. Wouldn't, That's wouldn't. embarrassing. <laughs> Think. And you know what? I time ago, it used to be a way of it was a, a romantic way to say I love you, and I oh. I want the world to know. But I guess that nowadays we have forgotten that our verbal communication most of the time expresses more than words. Mm -hmm. And when That's some, true. Yeah, or, or maybe not a serenata, but somebody sent you a song by WhatsApp. And yeah, that, that is more, more yes, more common. Yes. And how do you feel? Happy. Yes, happy. Uh, sometimes, um, how do you say? Uh, was not love songs, but was, um, you know, friendship songs or, um, I don't know, songs, happy songs, but, you know, uh, love songs, no. I, I never, uh, I have never received love songs by WhatsApp. Uh -huh, but any other inspiring song? Just uh, friendship songs or, or you know, uh, happy songs. Or actually, uh, even God songs, you know, Christian uh, songs. Yes, religious songs. Religious songs, yes. Hey, that's great. Okay, thank you. You know what? I would like to talk to you about uh, um, an experience that I had mm -hmm. related to this point. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was very stressful. I was very stressed. And so I uh, went home and my mommy was over there. And so we began to talk. But suddenly the talk turned into a, an argument. And wow. I was tolerant. I was so stressed that I said things that I shouldn't have said. And she was very angry. She was very, very hurt. It was painful for her. And it was my fault. But I, I was looking for the way to tell her that I... I was sorry, but she, di she didn't want to listen to me. So she was in her bedroom for a long time. She shut her door and she was so angry. She didn't want to listen to me. And so I didn't know what to do because I was going to go to work. And I didn't want my mommy to be like that still night. So it was demanding for me to tell her how I, I was sorry. And so the only one thing that I could do, that I decided to do, was to play her favorite song in the stereo. So at the, at the middle of the song, she opened her door. And she wow. 
looking at me and she was crying. In that way, in, in that moment, I stared to her, I hugged her and I told her, mommy, I'm sorry, I love you, forgive me, please. And so she was also apologizing with me. So in that moment, music was my salvation because I could speak to my mommy in an easier way. She was uh, open to listen to me because of the music, because it makes her, it made her to be a little more sensitive about the moment and to forget her own madness, no, her angriness. Wow, that's it. Yeah. A beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. Uh, you know what? My father was a musician. So wow. I, that, that, and now my son is a musician also. So I think in my family, music has been not only uh, the daily bread, because I, I am also a musician. Oh, wow. What kind? Uh, what uh, did you play? I play the guitar. I play the bass. I play wow. the mandolin, a accordion, and laud espanol. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. That's beautiful. You know what? In my yes. house, everything, the most important talks or the most important events in our lives are followed by music. Oh, uh, wow. My son, now my, my youngest son, is a composer. He's a classical guitarist. And he has his own uh, ska band. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, so Excellent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so it's nice because uh, if we can express, then we sing. <laughs> wow, that's true. Yeah, so sometimes we say more with a song or with music than with words. Yes. All right. Well, you know what? I wanted to tell you also that this one. Could you help us reading? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, research shows that individual individuals with autism. How do you autism? Autism. Autism show equal or superior abilities in pitch processing, leveling of emotion emotions in music. And a music, musical, no, musical. Musical. Oh, musical. Preference when compared to typically, no, typically? Yeah, typically. Okay. Typically developing peer, peers. Uh -huh. And that was too, too long. I can understand. <laughs> Let me read it again. No, it's okay. Oh, I got it. Yes. It's almost the same as the other one. Well, it's not the same, but it's the same um, idea. Topic, idea, yes. Uh, yeah, it is. You know what? Uh, my ex husband has a son. Unfortunately, yes. this son uh, has a, a problem. He has a um, delay in mental mm -hmm. processes and in uh, his movement processes. So uh -huh. he is 15 years old, but he can't speak, he can't walk. And so this is a very sad situation for this boy because he can't even speak and say what he needs. Sometimes uh, they sit down and they talk to him, but of course, he never, he never answers, but they, they uh, discovered that the boy was very uh, sensitive to, uh, sensible, not sensitive to music. And so he likes very much to be listening to music. And when you play music for him, uh, he is calm, he is relaxed. 
but whenever you turn the music off, he begins to stress and he begins to shout or to make noises. Mm -hmm. so when when they play the music, they is they he's calm again. Wow. I I know people like that. Yes. Uh -huh. So music yes. has not only been a way of um, expressing emotions, but also it's a therapy. Yes. Healing, right? Mm -hmm. Healing. I thought at first mm -hmm. that music could heal your spirit, could heal your soul. But now yes. I know that music can also heal our brain. Yes, that's true. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, too much. I was talking to a... a, a some students of mine, I work on Sundays with two doctors. They mm -hmm. are married age. They are, uh, they work on therapy for rehabilitation. And they told me also that whenever they do their therapies, when people are doing their uh, exercises, it can be extremely painful for them because after an accident, of course, you need to move your body again, but it's so painful. So they play music so that it can release pain. It reduces the suffering. Or wow. whenever they are operating, they also play music for the, for the person who is being operated so that the person can be relaxed. It reduces the pain also. And so the response that they get after the operation tends to be much better. Wow. May I say something? Yes, of course. I used to play, uh, well, my mom and my dad loved music and they always tried to, to make us play an instrument. But uh, we was not that, you know, good enough. <laughs> and um, I used to go to piano classes and saxophone classes. Wow. When I was a child. But I never had uh, the, um, the enough interesting uh, about music. I like sing i like music but maybe not enough to to play an instrument you know so i regret about that because now i i would like be able to 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 play one of maybe i re, i can remember some uh small songs in um in the piano or Maybe in the saxophone, I don't know. But I regret to don't, you know, pay more attention <laughs> in my classes. Yeah, not to pay more attention. Yeah, not to, to pay. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes I, I think that we should have done something. We should have been anywhere, anywhere else. But... Uh, any anything happens for a reason that's but, true yeah but maybe okay when you were a child uh, you didn't do it but why not now uh, you can take some classes uh, you can uh, even you know in internet there are some tutorials that are really useful for learning any discipline mm, yeah that's a good idea <laughs> Yeah, maybe so I will. You could do it at your pace. So if you want to study today five minutes about how to play the piano, you can do it five minutes. Why not? Maybe in any other day you have more time available so you can study for a little more. And that's it at your pace. Hmm? I'm going to do that. <laughs> yes, that's great. yes. It's, a, it's a good idea. Um, 
and I love to try new things. So why not? Right? Yeah. And you know what? Uh, here, let's go to this part. This is so interesting. Could you please read it? I think we already um, read that one. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry. so let's go to the other image. Here we are. So, could you read this one? Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, which one? Okay. Those for who are, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to read it together. Yeah, it's her. Her into music can learn new language more easily. Oh, hey, that's an extra. Wow. Yeah, that's a plus. Could could you please uh pronounce again who are together? Her. Yeah, they her. say those who are into music. Who are. Those those who are into music. Okay. Oi, that but, that is hard. <laughs> yeah, but let me tell you something. This is part of the informal language. So don't be don't be so scared if you can't say it. It just is that you can recognize it. It is not okay. formal. So Perfect. don't worry. Perfect. Okay. Poor. Okay. All right. So yes, they say that uh, those people who are involved into music or related to music can learn new languages more easily. Hey, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. But why? Why, why do you think that they say this? I think it's because uh, you use, okay, we have five cents, right? So we use the hearing to, to learn music and that makes your, that sense more, um, I don't know how to say it, but more sensibility, I don't know, sensitivity. Uh -huh, could be or more developed. Developed, yes. Thank you, I was looking for that word. More developed, so that makes you uh that makes you learn more easily i think as the sounds you know them i think so i don't know <laughs> i'm not an yeah expert. that's it no you're right and even do you remember that we were uh, talking about the brain work the both hemispheres so when we make music or when we practice playing any instrument then our brain is more developed so all of the cognitive process, learning languages, learning even mathematics, uh, also memorizing is easier because our brain is more developed. Wow. Yes, I like that. All right, and so here, Oh, hey, come on, come on, here. Uh, Octavio, would you like to, to read this one? Why don't you help us to read this one? Mm, I'm sorry, I have a question. Oh, yes, please. If that, if that is true, it was happening with me <laughs> because I will say the truth, uh, I like, I like a played instrument. Only <laughs> uh, now I like you because I uh, I'm very nervous, uh, but I like the music. I play guitar. I play bass. I play. Wow! I play a drum. Uh, <laughs> an hour. I I see this, yeah. For that I, I say you, if that is true, what's happening? Uh, what's happening to you? Ah uh, no, you know what? What is happening to you is that you are starting to learn. 
So, uh, you know what? When we start learning a language, we have four steps. The first step is the, the audio. We listen and we understand. Uh, that's the first step. Uh, when you recognize the words you listen and you understand, then you are uh, going to the second step. The second step is, is when you are trying to speak and you just know how to say small words. You can do a small talk. You don't have very good pronunciation, but you are in the second step. The third, okay. third step, you speak uh, with difficulty and you speak with a lot of mistakes, but anyway, you can hear the conversation and understand what the other person says. Uh, and then in the fourth step, you do it um, automatically. So you speak without thinking what you are going to say. It is easy for you to understand anything, but you need to polish some uh, points about grammar. But uh, that's the last step when you are polishing. So don't worry, you are learning. The only one thing that happens is that you are in the second step. Okay. May I say something to Octavio? Oh yes, of course. Octavio, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I remember okay. when I was Thank you. I remember when I was learning uh well I my English is better because I went to uh to the United States. That's that's why my English is a little bit better, but uh, truly, when I go there, when I was there, it was horrible. I, at the beginning, I couldn't understand anything, and, uh, and my pronunciation was, even now, uh, my family from there told me that my pronunciation is so bad. <laughs> They told me, I can't understand you, oh and my. things like that. Yes, and sometimes I feel bad. And I have friends there, and sometimes they make me repeat things like <laughs> 20 times, and I feel horrible, like, I'm saying right. And they was like, oh, I can't understand you. Sorry, I can't understand you. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so, you know. But don't worry, don't worry, really. Uh, <laughs> the time is going okay, to help okay, you, and you. yes. Yes, don't worry. Yeah, so don't be nervous. Uh, I remember that I, when I was in the University of Southern Indiana, I could speak perfectly with the director of the school, with the provost of the program. But when I was at class, Jesus, I was a mess and I lost food. I was nervous. I was nervous because my teachers were uh, correcting any any mistake they listened. Of course, it was their uh, work, their job. But uh, yeah, I, I realized that. I said, how could I speak so fluently with the director of the school and I can't speak better with my teachers? And it was because I was nervous at class. So don't yes, worry. that's true. It's a, and, a, and 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 we we could be afraid to to the um, mocks mocks mocks. How do you say yeah. to the uh, <clears throat> yes? Because sometimes people is like that, but no, here not in the classroom. <laughs> yeah, no. that's it. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another part. This is something additional. When I started working as a web teacher, I felt mm -hmm. really uh, strange because all my family was looking to me that I was talking to my computer. And I said, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Am I crazy? And I <laughs> expect my, my computer to answer to me. And suddenly <laughs> a voice in the, other side, in the other side said, yes, teacher. And I said, oh. The computer is talking to me. <laughs> so it, it, it sounds it sounds like a joke, 
but I'm serious. It's a, a process also to get used yes. to talk to your computer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> even though... I'm trying... Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, even though you know that, that, that there, there are people in the other side who are listening to you, and that, that's a real talk, but eh, technology is not eh, so familiar yet for us, so it's new, this, this eh, thing of the web learning. Yeah, that's true. You know what, I'm trying to, to talk in English with my kids, but they refuse to do it. Um, I don't know why they, they told me, mom, that is weird, uh, we don't want to. Actually, I, I think they have a better English than mine. Uh, so I asked them to do it so they, ca they could correct me. Is that right, could correct mm -hmm. me? I don't know. Yeah. But it's they don't want to, so I don't know. Ah. Maybe. Yes. Well, you know, you know what? Same thing happened to me with my kids. So, still, the moment they had problems when they were going to re to to get their titles in the university, at that mm -hmm. point, they said, "Mommy, help!" Oh my! <laughs> and, and I told them, "Oh yes, of course. In a in a week, of course, we are going to do it. Don't worry." <laughs> yes, it's kind of a difficult task to convince them that mm -hmm. it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people think sometimes when uh, you are talking in English, you know, to practice, people think, uh, this is snob, you know, it's muy fresa. Aha. <laughs> oh, yes, you are a fifi. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. I yeah. know, you are trying to, to practice, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. It's because practicing is vital. It's necessary when learning to do something. If you don't practice, of course, you are not going to learn quickly, uh, quicker how to do it. All right. Well, finally, I would like to share this quote with you. Well, uh, we were... Uh, asking Octavio to do it, but I will do it. Albert Einstein was also a gifted musician, playing both the piano and violin with exceptional skill. Did you know that? I didn't know that Albert Einstein was a musician also. Me neither. Did you know that, Octavio? No, well, for me it was a surprising. No. Oh. Look at this. He played the piano and the violin. Wow. And he was very good, exceptional. <laughs> yes, wow. Yeah, he was a genius. You are too. <laughs> so you are going to manage the language quicker than you believe whenever you realize you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Don't be nervous. Okay. All right. Well, kids, I don't know if you want to say any commentary, if you want to ask any question. No? No? Uh, no. Oh. All right. Well, thank you very much for your attention, for your attendance, and of course, for your participation, your brilliant participation. So, no, thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have thank a you. Good thank you. Thank you. Good bye, night. Bye, Maggie. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.